South Africa. Um, so it's the day after the South African Individual Time Trial Championships. Um, I managed to get a silver medal there. Um, I will elaborate on that later on today. But first, let's see who's awake and what the plans are of our training today. Um, yes, and then I'll talk a little bit about the long process it took um, to get where I am today. Um, how I got the silver medal, things I had to do, sacrifices we had to make. Um, but it was a great journey. Um, anyway. exactly 10 minutes to get ready um, and I'm known to be quite late for every ride um, guys if you're watching this it's not on purpose I just have very bad timing let's see what they're doing here training Bye, Nick. Time for a massage. So this is the S Wick Shift, a 2015 model, a TT bike which I used for the South African Time Trial Championships. Um, which I came in second behind Daryl Impey and third was Reynard Janssen van Rensburg. Um, as you can see, um, it's a very nice bike, very aero. Um, the white Specialized is a 2016 model, there's not much changes to it, um, but all in all it's a very good bike and affordable. As you can see, I'm using the Dira Ace DR2. Um, it works very well. Um, there's probably nothing better at the moment on the market except if you go to ETAP but the shifting on the ETAP is very slow though as you can see on here there's a Tegra crank but I was using a Dira Ace crank for the championships the chain I'm using is a ceramic speed chain it only lasts about 300 kilometers and uh, yeah um, yes uncle bother me <laughs> <laughs> um, I used the specialized Atero seat, it's a time trial specific seat. Um, it takes some getting used to, uh, but uh, after about four months on it, you'll probably get used to it. 
Uh, as you can see, my junction box is on the outside. Um, it's not the best looking, but uh, if you're not a pro to rider, you probably have to keep all this cabling on the outside, as you can see. As you can see, all this cabling is very unaerodynamic, but you have to keep it on the outside because it's quite a mission to actually make a hole in the frame um, and put this junction box in there because you will lose your warranty but it's much more aerodynamic and it will probably save you over 30 seconds plus on a 40k time trial as you can see I'm using the I use the Garmin mount on here so when I'm over the bike I can actually see my power very well whereas if you want it to be more aerodynamic you could just use the normal bracket system here um, but then I can't see my values set well um, I use this very soft pads it actually comes with red pads um, which makes it which is much harder but I prefer comfort um, because I was really training long hours on this bike um, it's a normal braking calipers that come with the frame um, it's just standard with the frame so it works very well and then the bottom one you'll see is at the back of the frame yeah um, as you can see uh, I also use speed plate pedals um, I'm really really impressed uh, with the speed plate pedals um, they're really brilliant but it has a lot of maintenance on them um, especially on the cleats under your shoes um, so if you have if you're able to replace that quite regularly you'll really enjoy the speed back pedals um, I use the normal specialized bottle cage with the aero bottle um, works very really well um, so yeah I guess the question is where could I have gone faster well definitely with the inner cabling taking off the Garmin mount and using more aero pads um, yeah um, I probably could put on a 55 chain blade at the front I was riding a 5311 um, obviously to make to make it possible that you don't cross chain and keep the chain as in a straight line as possible so yeah 55 11 ratio <laughs> ratio at the back would probably have been the best uh, to save what um, but like I said I'm not pro to and I don't have all those resources available always um, the bike isn't really that heavy it weighs in about 8.5 with the disc I was using and the tri spoke at the front so all in all I probably could have gone about with all those changes a lighter disc um, yeah I couldn't really use anything else but yeah with a lighter disc um, not cross chaining so much with the 55 blade at the front as I was spinning out quite a lot um, using a Dura Ace cassette and not Altegra one I could have probably all in all saved about another minute um, but yeah that's how I got second at the South African individual time trial championships okay so this is a spe special <laughs> Benarello Bolite it's quite expensive very nice bike um, but regardless of that um, this is a disc wheel Uncle borrowed to me it's a normal gator skin tubby on ya um, with a normal Altegra cassette um, big thanks to Uncle for borrowing that for me um, sh on short notice the morning before the time trial um, so yeah it's a normal Gator Skin Tubby um, you probably could put on a, a TT Tubby from um, yeah, Conti TT Tubby which have been much faster or a Cotton Tubby but it will probably cost you a shitload of money as well and then as I said the Dura Ace cassette and the lighter Tubby um, would have been probably save you let's say uh, hopefully another 30 seconds um, but yeah big thanks to uncle for buying that for me that's enough vlogging for today <laughs> it's time to enjoy lunch cheers Owen what do you think of the winkel my life? it's a very nice winkel
It doesn't usually work. No. This is very rare. <laughs> it's like... I don't. It's what like, I do it's is like delegate and make discounted prices for Willy and make sure his bike gets washed and he has a um, working fast forward disc for SA Champs and he gets the results that we expect. I was seeing Anka in the office is like spotting a fish in the desert. <laughs> okay, awesome.